What's going on guys? So you just got a quick overview of the stuff we're using to do some projects. Um, actually, this here is Jamie Macon. I am the husband. Together we bring them DIY, decor, and more. Um, so today we are doing a little fun project because our last project was no good. <laughs> to the point where we did it, we edited it, it was ready to be uploaded, and we always watch our videos through to make sure it's okay, everything's good before we upload it. And we got about halfway through this one and we looked at each other and went, oh, yeah. this is boring. <laughs> it was this so is, boring. Ugh. The project was, the project itself was cute. Like this, we'll show you the project. Yeah. This, what? Kind this of washed it. out a little bit. Yeah, it's a little washed out just um, from the lights. But like, it's cute, right? It's adorable. It'd be a door hanger. Oh, it was freaking boring to we watch. We were boring. Like it wasn't a good one. Um, it, yeah. We just stopped. We wasted our time making it. We weren't going to waste your time watching it. So yeah. we said, to heck with it. We're, uh, we, we'll make some new ones. And we'll just jump in. Yeah. So we're part of a... Um, Fun Time Friday. That one. Collaboration. Fun little playlist, which we will link below. And our host is Broke Girl Aesthetic, which, by the way, I love that name. Um, with co-hosts of... Designers Loft and My Style My Colors both have great channels. You should check them both out. We'll link everybody below. Uh, the playlist will be below. So there'll be a bunch of people doing the playlist. So go check them out and share the love. Show them what's going on. Yep. And if you like our stuff, throw some thumbs ups. Subscribe. Come hang out with us. Uh, we usually have a good time. You guys should too. Exactly. So we'll get switched over and we'll show you the projects we're going to do for Fun Time Fridays. There's a whole lot of stuff just sitting there. Look at that. Including my cheat sheet. <laughs> <laughs> gotta have notes okay so go ahead and explain your project i'm making i have a bit of an obsession with bunnies real ones fake ones doesn't matter um i love them they're so cute i'm gonna make one we're gonna make a sock bunny and i'm gonna try and do it in the farmhouse style because that's kind of our jam so most of the stuff we make so we're not doing i'm not doing a super cute like hot pink or super springy eastery one i'm doing a bunny for the seasons he can stay out all year whoa because that's how i like my bunnies and i am not doing super fancy so we did some gnomes a while back i'll throw the video link up there um but this is actually a car wash mitt right so you got from the dollar store so you can wash your car but look at how cool that is tell me that would make a cool gnome hat so i'm gonna make a little rice sock gnome guy yep. um with a really funky hat. I'm going to try to. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to give it a shot. And what you, for some reason, can't really see is this is lime green, guys. Yeah. Oh, it's very, very green. It, the uh, lights are washing it out because we have it so bright it in out, here. Man, but it is bright 80s green. 80s neon. Look at me, green. That's perfect. 80s neon green right there. Yeah. So we're going to... Uh, we're going to get to assembly and see how they come out. And this is why Jamie picks the colors for our projects. <laughs> oh, I like this one. <laughs> I know you do. This one, you get free reign sometimes. All right. So we are going to get started and fill some socks with some rice. Yeah. You think that's going to be big enough for your body? No. No? I have to do a double fill? Yeah. Whoa. It was clean until, you, until I wicked the... Wild rice. Yeah. Ah. That's funny, husband. I know, babe. You didn't mean it to be funny, did you? Okay. Okay. Get down in there. There. Big old fat gnome body. It is a big old fat gnome. <laughs> They're not supposed to be skinny. Nope. They're uh, pleasant. Pleasantly plump. Okay, now Remember i got to get his nose out of here. Yeah. Remember we found out these were Nordic gnomes. Nordic. Because there's different kinds of gnomes. Oh, that's right. So, last time we used a ping pong ball, but we saw somebody else do it, and they just twisted his nose. I feel like I'm going to break this. They just twisted his nose out of the sock itself. So I thought that was kind of cool. What do you think? I think that's... His little nose? Cute. <laughs> Okay, so then the first one was the body. We gotta put the body up and around. So you got a little black and white shirt going on. 
Boy, you're making one hell of a mess. Weren't you picking on me? She was just picking on me for making a mess, right? I want you to look at her area. Oh, you can't see much of it. It all fell outside of the camera. It's fine. <laughs> it's all She's fine. lucky. It's all fine. All good. I have skinny little feet, apparently. My sock is super skinny. <laughs> Getting her fold up. So we're going to take him. I think, you know what? I think we're going to have to cut off just a little bit of this sock. Although, you know what? I could probably tuck it right up into his hat. Right? Why not? What do you think? I would cut the black off at least so you don't have a line going up his face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. True. A little bunny. A little bunny. All right. Tuck this up underneath here with just a little bit of glue. That's not a little bit of glue. <laughs> All right. I'm going to put this under here. one rubber band hair tie thingy. I like these because they're clear, so you don't have to be super precise with where your rubber bands are. <laughs> Anything that I don't have to be super precise on wins. There. Look at that. Oh, only a few streamers stuck to me for super glue or uh, hot glue. <laughs> I'm impressed, babe. Huh? Usually I get them all over me. So there, he's got a little body. He's got no sticking out. Now I got to figure out. Got to plop him down. There we go. Now he's got a little belly. Give him fat. <laughs> <laughs> now I got to figure out how I'm going to turn this into a hat. Yeah. And I'm thinking on our other ones, we just kind of folded it over and super hot glued them. Oh, I keep calling it super glue. I think that'll work for this. Pop them down on there and then just glue the hat on. So I'm going to try a little glue on the back here. I'm actually going to try a lot of glue on the back here because it's kind of really fuzzy. I got my body. Now I got to put my head. And now it's definitely easier to go this way. Oh, you poured the body and then poured the head? Yeah. That's smart. Do it in two steps. That's the intention. I don't know if that's actually going to be smart or not. That was the idea. I was trying to be smart. We'll see what actually happens. Because I feel like I have as much rice in the body as in the head as I did in the body. Yeah, definitely do. <laughs> <laughs> Show them with this camera. <laughs> that's nowhere near head and body. No, uh, but I can move my rubber band. You can move your rubber band. That's true. Okay. Look at him. He's cute. <laughs> Here comes Peter Cottontail. Yep. Okay, we'll put a knot back in the top of this so that my rice doesn't go all over the place. Because I know me. I've met me. You've met you? I'm familiar with how I operate. All right, so I've got to reshape my guy a little bit. <laughs> Poor guy's he got too much of a tummy hanging out in front of him. <laughs> you know, it happens. Well, yeah. Tried to put his hat on. He's all laid back like this because his belly's up. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that happens. Oh yes. Oh, Mr. Bunny, you're so cute. Oh my God, he's so cute. You liking him? Well, I'm very excited. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh. You know what I forgot was his beard. Good gnome doesn't have a beard. Okay, so I have never worked with this before, and I've been forewarned that I don't take big cuts on it. I just do little snippets. On the backing. On the backing is where I'm cutting? Yes. Okay. So the thing is, is if you cut the fur, then you end up with essentially a haircut. And we don't want a haircut. We want kind of wild and crazy sticking out okay. all over the place. So I just take little, nip, little, yeah. little bites. Slide in so they can see what you're doing. Okay. So I just take the backer and just take little, yep. little nibble bites? Yep. Just like that? Yep. Oh, yeah. It kind of gets right in between the hairs and just cuts that backer. Okay. Right. Makes more sense once you start doing it. Yeah. Now, there's the extra piece. Let's see uh, Let's see how his beard looks. Got to see which way the hair is going. I'm going to make a teeny, teeny, tiny little bunny nose. Right, maybe a little bit bigger than teeny, tiny. Be good for width. Now I cut down here for length, somewhere around there. Oh, 
It's coming out good? Yes. We've been talking about making that for quite some time. A too. long, long time. Oh my goodness. This fun Friday challenge actually worked out pretty darn good timing. Yeah. You're hacking all the scissors, husband. <laughs> Here you can have these ones. <laughs> I was concentrating on cutting just the backer. All right, so we have bunny bottom, bunny head with the. Look at how this even came out. By pulling in a tiny little bit of um, rice, I pulled it this way, pinched it from this direction, which gave it freaking cheeks, you guys. <laughs> It did. It like puffed up the rice right here and it recedes all right there. Oh, this is so cute. So we have to give it ears, which means, ah. My beard's flying everywhere. <laughs> which means this, we have to cut the sock in half to become the ears. And I want big old froppy ears. I think I'm going to take and notch out a little V shape there. Get it up under his nose, so mm -hmm. his beard. Trying to say which way. Boy, the hair goes all crazy lonky like. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, actually, that's a good point. When you're cutting, I mean, this one. pay you attention, pay attention. To what, what direction you I actually think I goes. grabbed the wrong one. Because I looked, tried to get the hair to kind of, you know, go down his face. Yeah, I like that. That's good. So we're just going to put a little V notch right here. So it tucks up under his nose. Oh, look at how cute. <laughs> oh, the bunny nose. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I love it. All right, so bunnies don't have flat-ended ears, but we are going to leave them really long because I love floppy bunny ears. But we Almost touched to, the table. Yep, but we got to round them a little bit so they look like ears. Oh, my God. Okay, where's my nemesis? The old hot glue. Ye old hot glue. My Lord, this hair is everywhere. His beard hair is going all over. The heat kicked on. As soon as it did, it blew all the little particles. I don't know if you guys can see them on the camera. A little, a little crazy pants. We got a whirlwind of beard hair. All right, so um, I need eyeballs because, honestly, he's pretty damn cute the way he is. But I want eyeballs. You know what I just noticed is really neat, too? These socks have a different pattern on the inside. So they oh, kind the of look of his like ears. ears. Yeah. I like, yeah. How cute. Dude. <laughs> There's glue, string everywhere. There's fur everywhere. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, I am a messy, messy crafter today. Um, okay. I want eyeballs. So I found these, um, the Dollar Tree had this whole little bottle of buttons and I knew I'd be able to use them for something. And we're using them for eyeballs today. I just don't know if I want, I don't know what size I want. How big you got? Got those ones. Oh, and these ones are blue. And these ones are black. Which are, they're about the same size. Yeah, these ones are just a tiny, tiny bit smaller. And this one has a shiny one to it. <gasps> We're going to use some of your gnome butt or gnome face for bunny butt. There you go. Bunny butt. <laughs> Always good to have a little bunny butt. Make him a little tail. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, friends. Look at that bunny butt. Little bunny butt. I'm going to corral it a little bit with a hair tie at the bottom. And it'll also give me somewhere to glue to. Oh, you're going to just make that and then... Yep. Gotcha. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. May I have the hot glue, please? You may. I need something to color his nose. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a little chalk and I'm going to paint his nose. Okay. That's just kind of make it a little pinkish. I'm, I'm going to get some of the hair off of the... Look on. <laughs> so, Fun Friday should very much be a lot of fun, right? I think we've accomplished that. 
because this isn't normally our a project that we normally do, but we've just been wanting to do them for a while, so it was a fun day. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's a little off brand, but you know what? It's kind of not because I'm making this guy farmhouse. You are, and I am using chalk paste to well, paint. Don't hit the girl with the hot glue, please. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of no this. No hair. Gnome hair in Gnome my hair room. everywhere. Gnome hair in my glue. Take a little water. Water it down a minute. Oh, eyeballs. We got eyeballs. Oh, so cute. Okay. Bunny butt. <laughs> Bunny butt. Bunny butt. Bunny butt. All right. Let's, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but we're going to give it a shot. It would have been smart, and if you guys are going to do this, do it before you put all the extra stuff on. <laughs> you don't have to contend with his beard or his monster hat. Now, I have some of this um, raffia rayon ribbon sort of business. And I'm going to cut some to make some whiskers. I'm going to cut it long. And with this stuff, I don't know if you guys have ever worked with this before, but it's actually pretty wide. So my plan is to unravel it and peel it apart so that I can get three whiskers out of one piece. Let's see if we can actually accomplish that. <laughs> that was my plan, remember. Best laid plans. Okay. Got his whiskers. Yeah, they look pretty straight. I was hoping they wouldn't be straight, but... Can you do the curl trick with the, those? We were just going to try it. Yeah, like the, with the ribbons. with. Yeah, curling ribbon. See, that's the difference, is that's curling ribbon. And this is a little more brittle. Oh. So, Oops. <laughs> that's exactly what I was going to say. I don't know if it's going to work or not. The curling ribbon works because it's got it's ribbed on one side and flat on the other. Right. So you hit the ribs and it curls it. Curls it, it under. Hmm. Because if you hit the wrong side, then it. You know what though? Being a farm, it, the kind of straw look like that. Being a farmhouse bunny. Well, and all I, they just don't have to be so long either. True. If they're shorter, they look the way they're supposed to be. <laughs> they look good. I like his beard or his uh, whiskers. Cute. So cute. You must pet the bunny. <laughs> All right. So, I have ears. I have butt. I have bunny nose, butt. whiskers. Okay, I think it's just cuteness time now. I picked up this ribbon from the Dollar Tree. It's just a little lace. So we're going to use a little bit of that to tie around his neck. You know what? I'm not actually even going to cut it yet. And we're going to use some of this. And we'll see. I'm going to tie it over to the side. Give him a scarf? Kind of, yeah. Wintertime farmhouse bunny. Or spring that hasn't sprung yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, or summer in New York. <laughs> no lie. <laughs> Or the poor guys down in Texas. Oh, that's cute. Okay. I was considering the buffalo check, but it might not be necessary. Think you got enough? Yeah, no, nope, just that. Yeah, I think we got a snip. A little snippers? Yeah, I'm just not sure. There? Yeah. Now the decision is do I use the little one? The little one or the big one? I think the little one's going to be a pain right in the tuchus to get to stay, <laughs> if we're being honest. Or actually, I could use both of them. Double them up? Move them closer together. I think that's our winner. Put a little hot glue. 
it's probably the easiest way to do it. I was just going to tie them in there. Oh, I'm not that talented. There you go. Covers up the bottom part, the stem part. Yeah. No knotting needed. Oh, it's so cute. I am not one for lace, but this is cute. Might be because it's on a bunny. <laughs> Bunnies make everything cuter. A hundred percent because it's on a bunny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got let me switch cameras? Yeah. Well, we'll switch this back over. Because then you can see the the ears appropriately. <gasps> Whoop. <laughs> Look at his little butt. <laughs> That's my guy's face. Aww. Is your guy's butt. Yeah. <laughs> butt face. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But you know what? The the paint on there yeah, made brought his nose difference. out pretty good. Yeah. He's the old man gnome. He brushes his beard down. Boy, he's got chunks of beard hanging. <laughs> I got all sorts of messy on this one. Awesome. Well, guys, thanks for uh, coming to hang out with us on the Fun Friday. Uh, yeah. Be sure to check everybody's links in the playlist and go see all the cool stuff everybody made. Yes. Thank awesome. you to our hosts. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Bye. How do we forget two. that? <laughs> Every time. Every time. Every time. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> you really need a new song because I get stuck in my head Me? forever. I just say things and then you sing. We're gonna celebrate. Uh, this here is Jamie Macon. I am the husband. Together we bring them. Da <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to worry about the blooper reel anymore. No. <laughs> now are you Rettle? <laughs> Okay, here we go.